Um, well, firstly, I just want to say thank you for coming on to Nightly. Um, it's Australia's number one talk show um, in Australia. I just want to ask, have you watched it by any chance? No, I haven't. I confess. I'm sorry, but I will. I'll do my homework before I visit in September. What the hell, man? It's, like, really good. It's um, almost as funny as the late-night talk show in the UK called The Nigel Farage Show. The vast majority of women don't want to identify as feminists. Whilst Donald Trump may be rough round the edges, he gets things done, doesn't he? I do not believe that these women, that are wearing the burqa, are doing so of their own free will and choice. Yeah, well, that is pure comedy. Um, now, it's supposed to be a Syrian current, current affairs programme, uh, but uh, most people think it's just me being a clown on a stage. But hey, do you know what? As long as they follow it, I don't care. So you're known as, obviously you're known as Nigel Farage, but you're also known as Mr. Brexit. Mr. Brexit. Mr. Brexit. Mr. Brexit. I was wondering, like, was it really hard to legally change your name? Very difficult. Um, changing your name by deed poll is a difficult thing uh, and takes a long time. But isn't it a bit dangerous? Like, are you the only Mr. Brexit in the phone book? Yes. Um, I mean, there were, at the time of the referendum, lots of Mr. Brexits. Really? But they've kind of all faded back into obscurity because, you know, they're frightened. Oh, are they worried they'll be associated with you? Um, well, many of the words that are associated with me, I can't, I'm afraid, use on your programme because they're so unpleasant. So I hear that you're coming to Australia soon. That's pretty exciting for us. Um, I just wanted to say welcome to our penal colony. Um, it's really exciting that you're coming to our penal colony and I is, just... Ah, now, is that to do with cricket, Nina? Is a penal colony... No, it's because we're a penal colony of England uh, originally. OK. So we actually have one state of Australia called Western Australia. It has tried and failed to secede from the rest of the country many times. Um, as one of the figureheads of the Brexit movement, do you have any tips for Western Australian people? Yeah, absolutely. Make the arguments. Who wants to be governed by these awful people in the East? I mean, they're taking your taxes, your money. They're sending you know, migrants to you. Uh, they're taking your jobs. So, but at what point do we bring the Russian bots in? Ah, now, my advice on that is leave it till quite late, otherwise they might catch you. OK. Um, they're not actually as good as they're cracked up to be, uh, but they might just give you a helping hand over the line, you never know. Fantastic. And with that in mind, do you think there's going to be a second Brexit referendum? Oh, I do hope so. I mean, I don't really care about the policy, to be honest. Like, if I can be real with you, I don't really care about policy at all. I just want to know what it's going to be called. Like, so I have a few Brexit sequel names. Um, if I could just read them to you quickly. Um, the first one is Brexit 2, Brexistence is Futile. The second one is Brexit 2, Brexit at Tiffany's. Um, Brexit 2, to United 2 Kingdom. Brexit 2, Electric Brexaloo. And um, the last one is Brexit 2, Son of Brexit. Which one's your favourite? Well, I think Brexit at Tiffany's. At least it sounds like it's got a certain bit of class to it. I have one more question. Um, so you ran Brexit campaign on the slogan... We want our country back! Which I think is a great slogan. Um, I really love it. And I also want my country back. Um, but the problem is I'm mixed race, so I've got two countries to choose from, Australia and Japan. Um, which country do I get back? Well, where, where do you live? Where do you pay your taxes? Australia. Well, it's got nothing to do with race. It's got to do with where you live, the community you're part of, okay, and on that's one the one you've got Nigel to fight for. Us. Just hang on one second. I just got to call. Um, hang. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you're dead to me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Thanks so much, Nigel Farage, Mr. Brexit. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you. Look forward to it.